Dear LibMind fans, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe LibMind's YouTube channel to keep up with all upcoming videos. You can buy this book in the description to support us keeping us moving forward. Whatever it is that you're going through, we will always be here. Let's dive into this today's book summary. Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life is a book written by Wayne Dyer, a motivational speaker and self-help author. In the book, Dyer explores the concept of changing one's thoughts in order to transform their life. The book begins by discussing the power of thought and how our thoughts can have a profound impact on our lives. Dyer explains that our thoughts create our reality and that if we want to change our lives, we must first change the way we think. One of the key themes of the book is the concept of the ego, and how our ego can sometimes hold us back from achieving our goals. Dyer explains that our ego is the part of us that is concerned with our own self-importance, and that it can cause us to act in ways that are not in our best interest. To overcome the negative effects of the ego, Dyer suggests practicing mindfulness, or being present in the moment. Another important theme of the book is the importance of being true to ourselves. Dyer discusses how we can sometimes get caught up in trying to live up to the expectations of others, and how this can prevent us from living authentically and in alignment with our values and beliefs. He encourages readers to be true to themselves and to live in a way that is authentic and fulfilling. Throughout the book, Dyer provides practical advice and exercises that readers can use to change their thoughts and transform their lives. He encourages readers to be mindful, to let go of their ego, and to focus on their goals and desires in order to create the life they want. Here are a few quotes from the book that highlight some of its key themes, wisdom is knowing I am nothing, love is knowing I am everything, and between the two my life moves. Remind yourself daily that there is no way to happiness, rather, happiness is the way. You may have a long list of goals that you believe will provide you with contentment when they're achieved, yet if you examine your state of happiness in this moment, you'll notice that the fulfillment of some previous ambitions didn't create an enduring sense of joy. Desires can produce anxiety, stress, and competitiveness, and you need to recognize those that do. Bring happiness to every encounter in life, instead of expecting external events to produce joy. By staying in harmony on the path of the Tao, all the contentment you could ever dream of will begin to flow into your life, the right people, the means to finance where you're headed, and the necessary factors will come together. Stop pushing yourself, Lao Tzu would say, and feel gratitude and awe for what is. Your life is controlled by something far bigger and more significant than the petty details of your lofty aspirations. When expectations are shattered, practice allowing that to be the way it is. Relax, let go, allow, and recognize that some of your desires are about how you think your world should be, rather than how it is in that moment. Become an astute observer, judge less and listen more. Take time to open your mind to the fascinating mystery and uncertainty that we all experience. Do the Tao now spend an hour, a day, a week, or a month practicing not giving unsolicited advice. Stop yourself for an instant and call upon your silent knowing. Ask a question, rather than giving advice or citing an example from your life, and then just listen to yourself and the other person. As Lao Tzu would like you to know, that's the highest state of man. Which snowflake is the most magnificent? Is it possible that they are all magnificent, and that, celebrating their magnificence together they create an awesome display? Then they melt into each other, and into the oneness. Yet they never go away. They never disappear. They never cease to be. Simply, they change form. And not just once, but several times, from solid to liquid, from liquid to vapor, from the seen to the unseen, to rise again, and then again to return in new displays of breathtaking beauty and wonder. This is life, nourishing life. The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The Tao is both named and nameless. As nameless it is the origin of all things. As named it is the mother of ten thousand things. Ever desireless, one can see the mystery, ever desiring, one sees only the manifestations. And the mystery itself is the doorway to all understanding. If only the ruler and his people would refrain from harming each other, all the benefits of life would accumulate in the kingdom. 
If you spend a long period of time in study and self-cultivation, you will enter Tao. By doing so, you also enter a world of extraordinary perceptions. You experience unimaginable things, receive thoughts and learning as if from nowhere, perceive things that could be classified as prescient. Yet if you try to communicate what you experience, there is no one to understand you, no one who will believe you. The more you walk this road, the farther you are from the ordinary ways of society. You may see the truth, but you will find that people would rather listen to politicians, performers, and charlatans. Stop fighting, eschew violent thoughts and deeds, and give up trying to control others or the world. Stay humble, don't interfere, respect your creative genius, as well as that of others, and, above all, return to your invisible source and shed your troublesome ego while you're still alive and incarnated as one of the 10,000 things. If you do all of this, you will naturally live a long life in joyful, non-judgmental peace. In each chapter of the book, Dyer provides practical advice and exercises that readers can use to change their thoughts and transform their lives. He encourages readers to be mindful, to let go of their ego, and to focus on their goals and desires in order to create the life they want. The book also includes a number of verses from the Tao Te Ching, which provide additional insights and wisdom on the themes discussed in the book. For example, one verse from the Tao Te Ching states, when you let go of what you are, you become what you might be. This verse aligns with the book's emphasis on letting go of negative thoughts and emotions in order to live in the present moment and be open to new possibilities. Another verse from the Tao Te Ching states, In the pursuit of knowledge, every day something is added. In the pursuit of wisdom, every day something is dropped. This verse aligns with the book's emphasis on letting go of the ego and being mindful in order to gain wisdom and live a more fulfilling life. Overall, the verses from the Tao Te Ching provide additional insights and wisdom that complement the ideas and principles discussed and change your thoughts, change your life. They serve as a reminder of the power of thought and the importance of changing our thoughts in order to transform our lives.